Uh, welcome back to an academy. This is Deepak Krishna Bhai. I'm an instructor in engineering AMI once again. So in this lesson, we are going to see a bit more about the uh, gel phase ratio of the concrete. So this is a continuation of the previous lesson. And today we will see some of the calculations based on the gel phase ratio and the theoretical strength. Also a little bit of more theory about it. But before that, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel of the academy and follow, also follow us on the app and the website of the academy. So let's start. Hello everyone, good to see you, hope you're having a good day. So this is the continuation of the previous lesson that connects the gel-space ratio and the strength of concrete, okay? So previously we have seen how this concept called gel-space ratio came into existence and the works done by Power and Brown yet. Also we have seen the uh, equation based on those works and their works and it's known as the Power equation, Power's equation. So today we are going to see some more concepts about the gel space ratio and also a little bit of calculation based on the gel space ratio and theoretical strength. Okay, so let's start. So as we all know, uh, the classical Abrams law was the first, one of the pioneered law which connects a uh, property to the strength of the concrete satisfactorily. So it was the water, it was a revolutionary law which uh, connects the uh, water semen ratio and the strength of concrete but it had a lot of limitation those times okay as we discussed in the previous lesson uh, because of uh, those times and the technological advancement and the knowledge in those time scientists so as the time flies and the uh, science uh, jumped forward especially in the 70s and 80s so they had the, there was a debate that this law was not this wa law was not enough okay that means that because of the advancements this law doesn't provide enough uh, enough satisfactory results for the modern day approach so some of the limitation that lord had was uh, the degree of, they they cons considered only the water cement ratio okay so some of them it excluded was the degree of hydration of cement and its physical chemical properties temperature at which hydration takes place cracks formed due to hydration and bleeding and also air content in case of an, an entrained concrete okay because all these things can be directly con uh, affected by the water cement ratio but in those times uh, water cement ratio was the basic uh, basic property okay but in modern day the when the superplasticizers and other admixtures came into existence uh, it became a bit unstable okay so hence the gel space ratio was came into existence all these things were explained in the previous lesson okay now let's see what gel space ratio is let's take let's take a one more recap of it so what is it it's the ratio of volume of hydrated cement paste to sum of the volume of the hydrated cement paste and then that of capillary pores okay so the gel space ratio relationship between the strength and uh, i mean ex uh, pardon me the relationship between water cement ratio and the strength of a concrete will good hold for 28 days strength okay that means for 28 days strength that law was really good but in the case of gel space ratio the relationship between gel space ratio and strength uh, is independent of time okay that means that it can be taken uh, it, it can be calculated at any age and for any fraction of hydrated cement which is one of the most important advantage of the gel space ratio okay that means it can be calculated at any age and for any fraction of hydration of cement okay so that's some of the basic facts now let's uh, move on to the calculation part okay so the calculation part let's see so previously we have seen a, a very good equation known as the powers equation okay equation was something that connects the strength and the gel space ratio okay so today we are going to see some of the other calculation that is the calculation for the gel space ratio itself all right so first we uh, for first and foremost we, we must consider that uh, for for hydration purpose it can be fully hydrated and and also it can be partially hydrated so gel space ratio considers both these cases that is the fully hydration as well as the partial hydration of the concrete okay now first and foremost let's see the case of complete hydration or fully hydration okay so first let's see so this is a small derivation like uh, thing so let's see what it is so first let's see uh, let c is equal to weight of the cement in gram okay let vc is equal to specific volume of the cement which has to be 0 0.319 mil, uh, ml per gram okay now we have wo another variable which is the volume of mixing water in ml okay now let us assume that 1 ml of cement on hydration will produce 2.06 ml of gel so this is just an assumption just like in any derivation there should be some assumptions okay that means that let's assume that this has to, if this is like this this has to be like this less like the mathematics so we assume a constant or we assume a, a part right here okay 
Now hence let's see the volume of gel is equal to C into actually VC into uh, 2.06 2 that means C into 0 0.319 into 2.06 just the calculation of the volume so here is the one more time I've written over here to understand it more now the space available now let's cal calculate the volume of space available or the volume of capillary pores okay so again C we have the weight of the cement into specific volume of the cement plus the volume of mixing water okay so we have WO so hence the gel space ratio from the definition we can know that it's a volume of the gel divided by the space divided by the volume of the space available okay or is the volume of the gel divided by the volume of the pore capillary pores present inside the gel okay it's a volume space ratio hence we can conclude that the formula for by putting all these uh, 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 calculated uh, I mean all these assumed the calculated uh, substances in this uh, definition on this ratio we can get that x is equal to 0 0.657 c divided by 0 0.319 c plus w o so this is the gel space ratio for the complex hydration okay now let's move on to the gel space ratio for I mean uh, pardon me not complex hydration complete hydration okay now let's move on to the part for the partial hydration okay so again we have a let here that is alpha is equal to fraction of the cement that has hydrated so as I mentioned before gel space ratio can be calculated at any age and for any fraction of hydration of cement so that fraction of hydration cement let that be alpha okay now again we have the volume of gel is equal to C into 0 0.39 into 2.06 into alpha because we are do, uh, we are going to calculate for that much portion so volume into that much portion okay now the total space available again okay so pre previously we have seen C into VC plus WO again we are in introducing this variable into it that is the alpha into it so hence we we have C into VC into alpha the whole into a uh, whole plus WO okay now when we uh, put everything in the formula so hence we will get as 0 0.319 C alpha plus WO so again we have two quantities right here that is the volume of gel and the volume of the space so again we put into gel space ratio concept and have hence we have the uh, application like this 2.06 into 0 0.319 into C alpha divided by 0 0.319 C alpha plus WO so when we calculate everything we get X that is gel space ratio for partial hydration as 0 0.657 C alpha divided by 0 0.319 C alpha plus WO so the only difference from the partial and the fully com fully hydration or the complete hydration is the introduction of this alpha that is the partial fraction of the cement that has hydrated here okay so I hope you understand difference between the partial hydration and complete hydration mathematically now let's see a uh, example problem okay so we have to find what to find to calculate the gel space ratio and the theoretical strength on full and partial hydration okay what what do you have got about what is the given uh, the sample of the concrete with 500 gram of cement so we have the grams of cement right here and 0 0.5 water cement ratio okay so we have the water cement ratio as 0 0.5 now let's see the calculation goes on it's a very simple calculation just the application only so we have the gel space ratio for full hydration we have the formula right here so if we put everything inside okay we see is equal to 500 that's the amount of cement and uh, wo let that be 250 ml okay that's the water that is to be added okay volume of water that has to be added and then hence we got 0 0.8 now we have the gel space ratio that is x to calculate the theoretic theoretical strength we are using the powers equation that is s is equal to 240 x cube okay so here, here we have the x so hence 240 into x cube we have the value 123 mega pascal now next one is the gel space ratio for partial hydration it's also also very simple so here the question they have asked for 60 percent hydration okay so the question was for 60 percent hydration I didn't put that in the give us uh, give or not find so they have asked the question for 60 percent hydration also okay they will give in the question paper how much hydration they have been we need to find out for how much hydration the uh, gel space ratio should be found out so here for, for in the question we have 60 percentage okay so again we take the formula for partial hydration again so this is the formula for the partial hydration we apply all the values so 0 0.657 into 500 into 0 0.6 so alpha value is 0 0.6 that is 60 by 100 okay now again 
0 0.319 into, 0 into 500 into alpha again plus WO is 250 ml that is also given in the question okay now we have the f uh, value as 0 0.57 so similarly again for the strength calculation we go for the power's equation that is 240 into x cube which will be will, which will give the answer as 44.4 megapascal okay so we have we can take we can take a uh, recap of the equations once more so this is the power's equation that is strength is equal to 240 into x cube where x is the uh, gel space ratio the partial hydration we have the formula s is equal to 0 0.657 c divided by 0 0.319 c plus w o and for fully hydration we have x is equal to 0 0.657 c into alpha that's alpha is the uh, extent to which the partial hydration takes place and also div divided by 0 0.319 c alpha plus w o so that's all for today. I hope you understand today's lesson. So thank you for tuning in. Please comment your suggestion. Please rate my presentation. Please recommend and share the slides. This is my prof profile link to the Anna Academy platform. Copy this in your browser. You can see the works that I've done based on the concrete. Uh, I put almost six courses over there based on coarse aggregate, fine aggregate, uh, cement, fresh concrete, uh, factors affecting the uh, concrete and also factors of the workability of concrete and also again the test for the fresh concrete and this one we are going with the strength of the concrete all right so i hope you understand today's lesson i wish you a great day so until next time ciao